G'day, Nathan Zampronia here, one of your independent Hawkesbury City Councillors. It seemed like only a month or two ago that I was raising the parlous state of Bardenarang Creek here at Pitt Town. And already there's been some wonderful action and I'm wonderfully pleased to be able to welcome Em and Andy here from Disaster Relief Australia who have volunteered with their team to come out here with a bunch of volunteers and a bunch of locals to help and see if they can remediate the creek. Em, thank you so much for coming out. Could you tell us a little about what Disaster Relief Australia does? Uh, we're a veteran-based, uh, well, veteran-led organisation, um, a charity organisation, who uh, we basically go out to the communities and provide uh, re relief um, and community service to members who have been in natural disasters um, like floods and bushfires. Um, we're, and we're so appreciative because this task <laughs> was thoroughly beyond us as a locals and possibly even beyond us as a council unless there was kind of a real collaboration or resourcing. Andy, can you tell the story about how you ended up here with us at, uh, at Pitt Town? Yeah, sure. So we, uh, yeah, our headquarters for the state are in Sydney and so it's on our doorstep and we're really keen to get out and, and help. But the February, March flood event drew a lot of our resources up to the Northern Rivers. So eight weeks after that event, we were, got the opportunity to engage with the council mm -hmm. and ask for somewhere within the, county, the, the Hawkesbury region to mm -hmm assist the community in the greatest way, something that was more uh, a bigger project that would you know, really help the community in that recovery effort from the floods. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that my prompting allowed Council to suggest that this would be the ideal project for Disaster Relief Australia to come out and help with. So tell me about the, uh, the time that you're here, uh, the, the amount of manpower you've been able to bring to bear, uh, who deserves special thanks and, and what it is that you've actually been able to achieve here. So initially we're here just for the four days, it was from Tuesday through to the Friday. Uh, we've been able to clear about a kilometre and a half up, uh, up that direction and uh, today being our third day we're about uh, half a kilometre up that way and tomorrow we'll continue up that way. And I understand that you've had some help from locals, people like Gordon Douglas who's had heavy equipment here to kind of get larger items. What, what kind of stuff have you been seeing? A lot of it's just that, that household debris, household items, a lot of plastic. There's the, the amount of uh, plastic contamination that's been through oh, here yeah. in the um, that yeah. polyplastics yeah. that are spread through yeah. from the turf farms I'm assuming that mm -hmm. uh, that the, the big coils of oh, plastic huge amounts of plastic sheathing that probably come from local farms no fault of their own I mean the it just sweeps down and it gets snagged on all of that on that vegetation yeah. who deserves special thanks uh, for making this all happen well, it's hard, hard to put the, the answer to anyone. I mean, we, we're a volunteer organisation, so we put the call out. But one of the ways we improve, increase the numbers that we've got is we request corporate groups to, uh, to send volunteers to assist as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got 49 uh, volunteers from National Australia Bank on the first day. We've had Allianz and uh, Salesforce are going to contribute another near 50 uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that's over 100 corporate volunteers that we've had to complement our 40 over uh, over four days so the amount of work we've been able to do has been been pretty extraordinary look uh, I'm I'm tremendously grateful for all of that support and I, it's it's long been a mantra of mine you know governments don't build strong communities and strong societies people do and it's that spontaneous assemblage of people who see a need whose heart goes out and then draw on all of their skills and passions to kind of come out and help a community in distress. And we have been in distress uh, with you know three floods over the course of two years and the terrible aftermath that that's caused. So with very many thanks to Disaster Relief Australia, their corporate partners, all of the volunteers that they've brought out, particular thanks to the Pitt Town Progress Association, local identities like Peter Ryan and Gordon Douglas who have mucked in and helped in any way that they could. And all of those others that have helped raise awareness of the need of this kind of thing. Thank you so much for all that you do. It's so good to see. I'm Nathan Zampronio. Thanks for watching.